Hello there, my name is Ismael, and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip. And today we're going to be looking at painting using texture paint in Blender 2.8. So I have this model here, and let me just make it a bit more interesting. So you, I'll just bevel it a bit, and uh, then add a bevel, I'll give it a, more, a small width, uh, something like there, and I'll give it a few segments, more segments, uh, maybe shade it smooth, and uh, also add a subdivision surface. Uh, I can also maybe just... I, d I just want to make it a little bit more interesting, so push this in, uh, maybe add a few loops here, uh, da -da -da, like that, yeah, so something like this, so let's say we wanted to paint on this object here. Uh, so to paint on this, uh, make sure you have the object you want to paint on, UV Unwrap. So uh, first we need to go to uh, UV Editing and uh, unwrap this. So to unwrap this, I'm not going to make this uh, an, a UV Unwrapping video. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly UV Unwrap this. So let me, I think that's enough. So Control E, Maxing, then Unwrap. Uh, that should be good. And uh, just so that we don't have a lot of seams, I'll just select select these edges. If you want to know how to UV unwrap, you can just watch my uh, UV unwrapping video. So, but, uh, yeah, so this is what we are going to paint on. And uh, I think we're not maximizing UV space here. So I'm just going to, so let me see this and this. So if I add a mark, if I see mark a seam there, let me turn on live UV. I can maximize UV space by clearing that seam and also mark a seam there and uh, connect uh, this side to that. So just, uh, where is this? Like that and uh, then, nope, no. Let me see, I want to connect this side here. Maybe up here, yeah. So I think that's better way to use to, to maximize UV space here. So uh, if you want to watch uh, a complete detailed version of how to UV unwrap, you can just watch the UV unwrapping video. I'll be leaving a link in the description or just search for it. Uh, you should be able to find it. Top channel uh, UV unwrapping tutorials. So, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so let's, since we have UV unwrapped this, we can go into texture painting and uh, start painting. Uh, you can see that uh, we have an error. Uh, if you're seeing this uh, pink purple color, it means that uh, your, uh, your texture you have an image error, you, your, your textures are not being loaded in or you don't have an image to texture on. So uh, to add an image, uh, you can just go, I uh, make sure you are in the texture paint layout, uh, texture paint layout, and then, and then under these properties, you will see a material node and uh, you can choose between a painting materials or a painting animate texture. So if you select Art Painter material. Uh, if you select the material node, uh, then you can hit this plus and uh, choose between the different material options you want to, uh, to paint on. If you want to paint uh, the base color, you just click on base color and uh, hit OK. And uh, if you go to the shading, you'll see that uh, a base a color or diffuse image has been set up for you and connected to the base color. Now, if you go to the texture painting again and start painting, you can see we are painting uh, on that. And now we can also paint directly here. You can change the color if you want and uh, paint however, however you want. Sometimes if you see that uh, you can paint in, the, in this window, but uh, not in this window, I uh, just switch between our uh, view uh, to paint because if you are in the view uh, mod, you won't be able to paint. You will only be able to see uh, what you're painting. Uh, so then change this to paint uh, to be able to do that. So if you are if you are able to paint on this side but not in the viewport, uh, make sure you are in paint mode, not object mode, uh, because uh, this might work, but uh, in, in this here won't work. So make sure you are in both uh, paint mode for both uh, view areas. So take the paint. Okay. So if you want to paint roughness, then you would just click on this plus here uh, to paint roughness. Click OK, and uh, then you can start painting. 
uh, for roughness make sure you're not painting any color details so uh, instead of using a color here change make sure that uh, all these values are set to uh, one and uh, if you want to change the value I just let me make sure that uh, I'm not painting any red values here so just use uh, this here uh, for some reason we are only we are painting I think this is supposed to be 0.5 need to reset this value to a black and white color so that I only control a uh, yeah. If you're painting roughness and any other value that is not color or, or base color, uh, make sure you're just using this value here uh, to change between uh, the gradient. And uh, if we go back, you can see a roughness node has been set up for us and connected uh, to that. So again, if you want to paint other uh, inputs, say normal map, uh, bump map, displacement, uh, you can just uh, switch between that and uh, paint uh, like so. Uh, again, uh, that will be connected to us. You can see even a bump map, a bump node has been added there. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, when I switch to to the uh, to the look dev or shading mode, uh, you can see we we are even seeing the displacement uh, we have painted here. Uh, the roughness and uh, the color map, but uh, in this texture paint, uh, we are only seeing uh, the, the layer we have selected. So if you select the base color, you will see only you only preview uh, the base color. If you select the roughness, you will only preview uh, the roughness. If it's the bump, you will only preview the bump. Uh, but uh, if you want to be able to paint uh, while previewing uh, the the node, because you can't paint in this mode here. Uh, unless you change to paint mode uh, but uh, if you want to still be in this layout and uh, be able to see all those preview the results you just switch uh, from this as uh, uh, solid mode uh, to this loop dev mode or render mode uh, to preview what you're shading or what you're painting and uh, we can change uh, different values uh, like that uh, for, for unfortunately uh, sometimes you want to just paint uh, all the nodes you have here so the base color roughness and bump map at the same time uh, but uh, I think Blender doesn't allow that uh, as of recording recording of this I don't know if there is a way to set it up so that you can paint all these images at the same time uh, let me see if I select this I'm painting on this is just the image so let's see if we go under the texture yeah, I don't think there is an option to paint everything at the same time as of recording this video. So let me see. Yeah, but uh, uh, if you want to do that, you can switch from uh, materials to single image. So that uh, let me first remove all these images Blender set up for us. So so let's go back to texture painting. Now, if you go to single image, you can set up a new image. Let me also clear this. You can set up a new image. Again, I want this to be a neutral color. So I'll give it a value of, uh, this is alpha. I just want to give it a value of 0.5. And uh, now to set this up, uh, we can Blender doesn't uh, set it up for you if you just choose an image texture because it doesn't know what, what you want that image texture to be fed into. So I'm just going to add a new texture image and uh, select uh, the image we have set up. I think it's called Untitled and uh, connect this to the base color, uh, the uh, connect it to the roughness. I don't want it to be the metallic and then uh, the bump map. So for the bump map, I will have to connect it uh, through a bump map node and then connect this up the height map and then add this to the normal map. So now we can paint uh, the color we want. So let's say how this is. Uh, again, we need to change to this mode. And you can see now we are painting all, we are painting everything. We're painting color, we're painting 
are we painting uh, the roughness and we are painting uh, the height at the same time. I wish there was a way to just choose uh, the height you want to paint uh, so that it doesn't change uh, with, uh, uh, with the color you set because as you can see our blue colors the blue this red color is now giving us a, a, a different height uh, than another color so and I can't just use uh, the value here because it will affect uh, the brightness of the color so yeah but uh, yes yeah, so that's a quick tutorial on how to paint uh, in blender uh, 2.8 so yeah if you leave if you you can leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video